I'm having technical difficulties here. If you've heard that Mel Gibson is releasing a movie, um, he's releasing, I'm going to pull this, it's a movie called Sound of Freedom. It's a, it's a movie that actually stars Jim Caviezel. And if, if you know who Jim Caviezel is, he's actually the guy that was in um, Passion of the Christ, one of Mel Gibson's other movies. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm reading a comment. Thanks, Kizzo. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he was in he was in Passion of the Christ. He's now in this movie. Apparently, Jim Caviezel is kind of uh, a black. He's kind of the black sheep of Hollywood because I think probably because he's he's very religious and he's probably not really into the whole Hollywood bullshit scene. So he's in this movie and it's. It's been, oddly enough, this movie's been shelved for a while. I'm just going to read this article. This is from Variety. It's actually a pretty decent article, so I'll give them credit. Variety, I would think, would be pretty shit, but realistically, this article is not bad. So there's a couple spots in it that you'll see where it's like, mm -hmm. but here we go. So Sound of Freedom is being sold as a conservative thriller. It's based on the true, the true story of Tim Ballard, the former Homeland Security special agent who has devoted himself to fighting child sex trafficking and who took his... Crusade Private when he founded Operation Underground Railroad. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a steal, buddy, from the slavery times. But all right, uh, with backing from Glenn Beck. So Glenn Beck was actually uh, with Fox News for a while, and he's now on his own and stuff. Or was it Fox News? I don't know. Anyways, he was one one of those uh, right leaning uh, uh, things. He's now with uh, the Blaze, I think, or something. So the movie stars Jim Caviezel, who ever since he took on the title role of Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ nineteen years ago, he's been a go a go to actor for the kind of faith-based pro projects that the vast majority of Hollywood stars steer clear of. Wearing a trim, dark beard and copper, coppery blonde hair, Caviezel plays Ballard as a beautif beautif beautific? G.I. Joe meets George C. Scott and Hardcore meets in an Avenging Jesus. So here's where, the, where it gets a little bit weird, this article. So the movie has a Christian undertone uh, that occasionally becomes uh, an... Uh, sorry, an undercurrent that occasionally becomes an overcurrent, uh, as when Ballard explains why he's fixated in the crime of trafficking, because God's children are not for sale. Sound of Freedom has been heavily marketed on right-wing media like Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire, and one of the grand subtexts of all of this in taking on the issue of the horrific criminals who kidnap and traffic children. The film could be seen as adjacent to the alt-right... This is the weird part right here, sorry. Uh, the adjacent alt-right paranoia that was originally stoked by 4chan and QAnon, the wing, the wing nut conspiracy theory about a Washington D.C. pizza parlor being a front for a pedophile ring extended into the larger conspiracy theory that says that the culture of liberalism is a racket to protect and cover up the actions of pedophiles. All of that, let's be clear, is insane nonsense. Yet, let's assume that, like me, you're not a right wing fundamentalist conspiracy theorist looking for a dark faith based suspense film to uh, see over the holiday weekend. Even then, uh, you needn't hold. Uh, extreme beliefs to experience the sound of freedom. That's a compelling movie that shines an authentic light on one of the crucial criminal horrors of our time. One that the Hollywood that Hollywood has mostly sh shied away from. The film has the film was completed in 2018 and then shelved by Disney. Of course, I wonder why you shouldn't Disney shelved it. Oh, that's weird. Uh, it was finally brought back and is now being distributed independently. So. Like I say, the the article is it's not so bad. It's uh, it's like it's a bit heavy, heavy written, you know, by a guy who's trying to be probably trying to be smart, but just comes off a bit stupid to me. the The idea that you would just take uh, conspiracy theory, I love that term. But you take a conspiracy theory, like the the Pizza Gate thing or whatever they called it, and and dismiss everything else because of that is just silly to me. Like, so you're trying to say because that didn't pan out that none of this exists. Well, okay. That's kind of, that's one way to go on it, I guess. But it uh, doesn't mean that intelligent questioning people don't say, ah, you know what? Just because you say it doesn't mean I believe it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on seeing this movie. So I'll be able to review it maybe later and tell you if it's any good. It's probably going to have a bit of a, you know, it, I don't know. I'm just speculating. It'll probably have a little bit of that like rah, rah sort of feel. There might be some cheesy parts to it and stuff um, because, you know, it has to be entertaining, but um, I'm glad he's doing it. 
And I hope that Mel Gibson has sort of nothing to lose at this point. And maybe he's like, you know, a bandit, a bandit in the Hollywood sphere and puts out more of this kind of stuff and, you know, just starts shining some light on these cockroaches that run these little child uh, sex trafficking rings and, and this, this kind of thing, which by the way, unbelievably, I've heard this stat is $34 billion business per, per year, which let's put it in context. When you take the airline industry, the airline industry is $22 billion a year. So it, it is bigger than the airline industry. How sick is this? And it's, it's hard to believe that this is so rampant at this point because of the, the age that we live in now, but I don't know, man, these, these people seem to be so bold now and they have so much power that they're able to do this shit without, with impunity, right? They don't, they don't feel like they're, they're going to be caught or be held accountable for it, which is completely disgusting.